In an earlier video, I introduced this version of the sash clamp that has three printed threads, uh, but with a steel reinforcement running down the spine of the uh, screw. This version, though, uh, has a series of holes drilled in the bar that allows you to relocate this moving jaw in order to accommodate whatever length of stock it is or width of stock that you need to clamp. This version is based on one that I saw in a video by Wood by Wright. I'll link that video down in the description. It allows for an infinitely adjustable moving jaw. The angle of this connecting rod is important. There's a bit of sandpaper stuck to the bottom of this foot, and when the clamping pressure comes on, this grips just enough to cause this to cant over and bind on the beam. And you can apply a tremendous force with the screw, and this won't move. But when you release the pressure, this can just pop and release, and you can reposition it however you want. A good idea I haven't done yet is to add some lock nuts on these bolts that hold the assembly together. The sliding jaw assembly is put together in uh, multiple pieces. Um, this had to be printed in this orientation for optimal strength, where the bolt is bearing on that. Um, but I wanted to have a slightly wider clamping surface. So what I did is I put a tapered dovetail that is an interference fit, so you can just push this pad in place and it binds and locks down. If you'd like to print your own, there's a link in the description where you can get the model files for both this version and the version with the holes.